So hi, today we are going to take a look at uh, how to create simply in uh, a few lines of code the um, a PDF file, right? Okay, so let's get started. Go to my go to my site and uh, let's check out the code. Here it is my code, here it is my site, here it is my latest post about this one and now I'm gonna add this video to it to see how this code works. It's very simple but let's go and uh, um, recreate it from the start and and Let's go. txt pdf dot pi. Let's save it. And this creates um, a PDF from a simple text or a um, or a HTML so that it will look nicer. So from Tkinter import import Tkinter SDK and so we're gonna use Tkinter because we're gonna create a window like this. Remember to put the root dot main loop at the end this is the window and in this window we are going to put andremo a mettere in questa finestra uh, a text widget un widget di testo so this text widget belongs to the root the main object here il uh, widget appartiene alla root and now to make it visible to re per renderlo visibile we will use text.pack, useremo text.pack, questo metodo qui, e inoltre useremo, we will use also fill equal tk dot both um, and ex, expand equal one. So uh, useremo tk uh, fill uguale tk dot both, expand uguale uno. Um, so that it will uh, um, follow the window when you resize it così che segue la finestra quando la, mm, la ingrandiamo la rimpiccioliamo ok here I made a mistake, ho fatto un errore qui e tk.text here it is, ecco la finestra and uh, now let's change the color cambiamo il colore of the background del, uh, dello sfondo BG to, to gold in oro eccolo, così è più visibile so it is more visible and now let's uh, bind to the text adesso attacchiamo al testo the, the way to il modo per the way to mm, save it as a pdf so pdf uh, il modo per salvarlo come pdf e quindi andiamo a creare la funzione pdf let's create the function pdf so in this function in questa funzione first of all we need to import pdf kit Prima di tutto dobbiamo importare il PDF kit. Um, just uh, press the window button and R, premete il, win il bottone Windows ed R e poi scrivete CMD all'interno in modo da avere so that you have uh, la finestra uh, di comando da um, command line, la command line. So uh, from here you write, da qui scrivete pip install pdf kit 
um, Selavete Jia, if you already have it, you will have uh, required already satisfied um, richiesta già soddisfatta, quindi vuol dire che io già ce l'ho questo. So now uh, we are going to create our function here. Uh, translate text or HTML into P a PDF file. So questo traduce un testo o un HTML in un file PDF. So the function is okay now uh, let's do content creiamo questa variabile content equal to tx text dot get and uh, zero dot zero tk dot end so from the start to the end of the text con questa uh, noi prenderemo tutto il testo inserito nella, nel widget di testo e adesso lo andiamo a inserire nel pdf now we're gonna make the pdf so pd, pdf kit dot um, from not from file but from string right because it's a string that we will pass here I got to write event it's a string and the string is content and the content this string content comes from the this text here because we are going to write the string in it so la, la stringa qui proverrà da content e content la prende dal testo e nel testo la mettiamo noi eh, quando si apre la finestra adesso lo, lo vedremo mettiamo uno spazio qui let's put the space here another new line here let's convert tab to spaces and so we don't have any uh, difference from the rules uh, to of the syntax of the way to write in Python così abbiamo rispettato le regole per scrivere in Python and now let's go if it works there it is, this is our window now uh, I'm gonna to write something hello how are you? ciao, come stai? ciao come stai? Ok, now I'm going to press CTRL-B and it should work. It did not work because output path because I need to put an output back here for from somewhere. I think here I got to put my pdf.pdf .pdf. I got to give it a name. Let's go get the press and write it so ciao hello control b okay exit with code due to unknown error what what's the error now uh, remember to you have to install this wk html to pdf i think i got Let me get back here and see. Okay, I made it. It's the opposite here. I get to write the content first. Devo scrivere prima content e poi il um, il file di destinazione. Qui. Okay. So, ciao. Hello. Again. Ctrl B. Now I think it worked. Close this and let's go check it here. There should be the file. There it's my PD, my PDF, this one. And which I just want to add a line here, import OS and then OS start start file uh, my PDF dot dot PDF so that it will uh, open from itself so again ciao a tutti hello to everyone C 
Control B. Here it is. Ciao to hello to everyone. So as you see here, it, it is writing um, one after another. Um, maybe if I put here a dash n. No, it doesn't work. Um, you know that you can use HTML, right? Use your header. Um, PDF file dash h2 then you here read um, break you can use for example a bold here and go let's launch the file there it is now you see you have um, the header it goes to the next line this is bold so if you want to make some nice stuff here, you can um, you can use uh, HTML. Go to an image here. You can put also an image. You can use everything. It's Pythonish. Copy the address of the of this one, for example, and uh, let's put image str see image source there it is you can put an image wherever you want into the, the file it will com be converted to a mm, to this PDF so this is very easy and of course here it's not so remarkable in this way because you know you could do the HTML then go into the browser and do right clicks uh, print print as a PDF but first of all you're gonna um, save a lot of time but if you have to do many of these and many of these files and maybe you want to change just something inside the text here um, you could do use this PDF kit for your purpose of course uh, it depends on what you have to do so you can start from here and change and change it for your pur purposes so um, I think I hope I wish you find this useful um, so questo potrete usarlo per tante cose mi auguro che vi sia stato utile and to the next time alla prossima volta